Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rose. That's not that I know. <laughs> All right, it is time for Life Hack. This is okay. a very brief one. Okay. Do you have trouble sleeping? Stacey? Not usually. No, I don't not, either. I Man, really my don't. head hits the pillow, I'm out. I yeah. mean, it's just like that. But if people do, here's your life hack for the day. Okay. Blink fast for a minute. So you just go. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Like that for I'm a minute. Uh, tired eyes help you fall asleep. <laughs> Does that really tire your eyes? It's making me feel like I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, That's like, what? I was about to have a seizure there, I think. I think so, I am. I mean, and I'm, I mean, I'm probably not even 30 <laughs> seconds into this. <laughs> You're still going to try to do it? I'm trying. You've you got to know the 30 minutes. Then, you can't fall asleep right now. <laughs> we'll see if it works. Well, we don't have trouble falling asleep, so that, I don't That's know if it applies. That's a new one. <laughs> yeah. If someone, if someone could call in, or not even call in, just We verify. also have these extremely bright lights. Yeah, that <laughs> doesn't help. We are blinking. So Hopefully, that helps. I just, do you, do, but you do have like a blackout, uh, like mask or anything? Do you do that? Uh, no, no. Noise cancellation headphones? No, no. Oh, wow. No, no. And you've got, <laughs> but I mean, you work crazy hours. You're just tired. Oh so I think oh you just, God. well, you can finally lay down. I yeah, can sleep out. anywhere, anytime. Anywhere. In fact, I'm sleeping right now. Uh, <laughs> and doing your job. This is amazing. <laughs> crazy, it really amazing is. Stuff. All right, let's take a look outside on this beautiful day. It's the perfect day, I think. This is. I mean, if we could just have about 200 days like this uh, every year, I think it would be wonderful. We get some rain every so often. Uh, well, that's true. Then it'd be crowded here, wouldn't it? So we take a look at, well, we've got everything but the beach. Do we still have the pump out? Is that still a thing? I wonder. I need to, oh, I should swing the camera around. What's that? We do, have the, we do have the bank. We still have Newburgh Beach. I know that, regardless of whether we have the pump out anymore or not. Anyway, we see the traffic out there at 66 and 69. And yes, we've got ourselves a look at the twin bridges. Traffic's moving nicely. I mean, I know it's a tight squeeze, but ever since they went to three lanes on that northbound bridge, one going south, two going north, it has been flowing on that southbound bridge. I haven't seen it backed up, at least not in the morning uh, and early afternoon when I've been here. But yeah, by late afternoon, I'm not sure. Uh, although, you know, we've got fall breakers now, so I'm probably less traffic out there this week. Beautiful blue sky and not a cloud in sight over Owensboro. Bill Morgan camera there at the Hampton Inn. Looks like we lost our camera down in Central City, our Austin Holmes camera there. But it was looking good when we last checked it. Uh, a little bit of fog this morning, too. And we saw that from downtown. Uh, but now we are fog free and we've got our wasps uh, <laughs> flying around our camera lens there at our Superior Act camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. Right now the temperature is 72 degrees, just about perfect. Dew point nice and low at 55. Wind is variable at 3 miles an hour. It's going to be mainly from the south, southeast though from here on out. It's going to pick up a little bit this afternoon, but around 10 miles an hour. Not too bad at all. Temperature wise, how low can we go? Can we do a temperature run? We are all now in the 70s. We're all pretty much bunched in together. As low as I see is 70 in Vincennes. We've got 71 in Jasper, 72 in Santa Claus, 73 in Flora, 74 in Carmi, 75, 75, 75, I don't see a 75. 75 in Morgantown, just outside the Tri-State. So we're all in the low 70s as we get going on this 12th uh, day of the month. And really, October, I've always said, I mean, late September, early October, uh, really the best stretch of weather you're generally going to have over the year. And this has definitely been that. Uh, even though, yeah, we've been reading a little bit warm more often than not. But today, it's about pretty much spot on the average right now. The average high is actually 72. Uh, but then we're going to be seeing the high of 80. But at least we're going to be uh, staying nice and low humidity-wise. We've seen the rain. Now, that warm front that moved through yesterday has lifted up to around Chicago. That stalled-out boundary has been the focal point for a lot of rain up in Chicago and really northern Indiana throughout the morning. Things are starting to taper off and look better there. But look at that nice little pocket of high pressure. And we've got Indianapolis, St. Louis, Nashville, Lexington, and Cincinnati in the clear and looking good. And then down to the south, a lot of fall breakers along the Florida Panhandle. And yes, the rain has now shifted more to the east. Out of the picture, Panhandle is drying out after a couple of rainy days down there. It's looking much better for the fall breakers. For us, Pretty much straight sunshine. And you can see that blank map. Here we go again with that. And nothing wrong with that. We've got a few clouds that will be moving in overnight, but just a few. It's going to be a mainly clear sky this evening. And then first thing tomorrow, we're going to be seeing sunshine. We are going to notice some clouds moving in around midday. Some guidance is indicating that we could see a couple of showers with that uh, right around midday. But for the most part, it looks like the rain, and it's not all that impressive now, is going to be holding off until around game time for the football games, 5.30, 6 o'clock. You can see a few showers. Best chance will be north of the Ohio. And then we're going to notice that band kind of push on through. And then we're going to see still some spotty showers in between. And then the next wave moves in, and that will be right around midnight. That is the more impressive, but even then, the latest run on our future tracker is breaking it down quite a bit as it moves into the tri-state. So really not all that impressive now as compared to what it looked like earlier in the week. And then pretty much we're done with the rain. Now we get a little slot of clearing around daybreak on Saturday only to have wraparound clouds. And that partial eclipse of the sun, 60% of it, 
We're not going to be able to see it, doesn't look like, because it's going to be behind, be behind a deck of clouds that we have on Saturday afternoon. But it's going to peak around midday, right around noon Central Time. 80 degrees, though, plenty of sunshine today. And we're going to be noticing that wind pick up a little bit from the south southeast around 5 to 15 miles an hour. Warm but not humid. On the three degree guarantee, called for a high yesterday of 76, got up to 74. That works. Julie Haug of Evansville, congratulations. Evansville's north side. You've got yourself an umbrella courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. You might be able to use it over the next couple of days. Not today, you won't need it. But tomorrow, we'd have a slight chance of rain uh, later in the day and also early on Saturday. And then temperatures much cooler, as you know, Stacey. We'll be in the 60s yeah. for highs over the weekend. Okay. And yeah, and windy. The wind yeah. is going to be a factor on Saturday, too. That's what I don't like sometimes. Yeah, nobody likes fog. that stuff. Ooh, a little pretty. bit of fog there in yeah, Tell City. Yeah, I went through quite a bit of fog this morning. Yeah, I bet too. you did mm -hmm. because it, we, we were noticing quite yeah. a bit. Princeton, for a while, had about a half mile visibility. So, not good. Thank you, Ron. Yes. Enjoy. Uh, today for sure and we'll be right back after this you are watching ABC 25 local lifestyles